flag in the air. We're underway. He's already seeing some issues there with Raymond Doyle coming down on the racetrack, almost making contact. Actually, I believe he did make contact with Dennis Losing as Brody Center will lead the field off of turn number two. Then it's going to be Jeff Carpenter in the second spot, followed by Losing now going side by south of 21 DS Seth Dixon. Center leads Latner one with Carpenter in second. Then they're side by side behind them for a third right now. As Seth Dixon does, as Carpenter spins around from that second spot, ever able to avoid making contact with him. Right now, green flag still displayed on the racetrack. See if Carpenter can't get the car refired. So far, he cannot. And yellow flag will come out. 19 to go. Green flag in the air. We're back underway. Couple drivers keep an eye on going to be Jacob Nelson and Zach Madrid. They won their heat races earlier on. Here as they go four wide there, Zach Madrid to the inside of a shape. Brigner and Losing. Losing restarted this race on the outside of row number two. Right now, falling all the way back outside your top five as Madrid and Nelson right now go side by side as well as your top spot. Side by side. It's Dixon to the inside of center. Dixon will take over the race lead. He'll lead that lap over Brody Center as they go into turn number one. Center up top. Jacob Nelson now looks to the inside of Brody Center. That's battle for second as center comes right back on the outside. One car around. That is the four. 421 of Tyler Vache in turn number two. We'll stay green for the moment as Vache does get the car refired. We stay green off of turn number four. Dixon leads the field as Jacob Nelson and Brody Center go side by side. It's Nelson in the 10J, Center in the 28. They stay side by side. Now give the second spot to Nelson as Zach Madrid looks the inside of Center. Zach Madrid will clear the 28 of Center into turn number three as it's going to be the two Williston, North Dakota drivers of Seth Dixon and Jacob Nelson leading off a of four, followed by the Arizona native Zach Madrid. And here comes Larry Brigner to the outside of Brody Center. Larry Brigner was very fast earlier on in heat race action. Right now trying to back it up with a solid main event. Would love to finish on the podium if he can't get a win here tonight. That 0-2X of Brigner. Saw his youngster Caden Brigner out there in the Bomber main event. Brought out the last caution flag here tonight in the Bomber race. Right now running. Larry is running in fifth. As your top three drivers, they busted it away from the 28 machine of Brody Center. Just look at their lap times. 19.746 for your leader of Dixon. 19.704 for Nelson. 19.810 for Zach Madrid. They are the only three drivers in the 19th second bracket right now here at Arizona Speedway for the IMCA Stock Car main event. And those three stay running nose to tail through turns one and two. It's Dixon right now showing the way by about half a car length over Jacob Nelson, Zach Madrid. They're going to look to the outside now of Jacob Nelson. That's about a first second on the racetrack. Zach Madrid starting to come to life here, trying to work around these top two drivers, these North Dakota boys. And Zach Madrid once again going to look at top side on Jacob Nelson. Nelson now looking underneath the 21 D of Dixon. Can't quite do anything with him. Neither could Zach do anything with Nelson. So they stay nose to tail top three right now as they go side by side, battling for the fourth spot. Larry Brigner able to work to the inside of Brody Center as Dixon, Nelson, and Madrid lead the field off of turn number four. Larry Brigner now moves his car into that fifth position over center, or in that fourth position with Brody Center right now in fifth. It's going to be Kenny Gill and DJ Workmeister, sixth and seventh on the racetrack, trying to get around the 28th of center as well. As Nelson looks to the inside of Seth Dixon off of turn number four, can't quite do anything with him. Zach Madrid once again goes topside. This time into turn at number one. Now he's going to follow the tire tracks of these drivers as Brody Center right now getting slipped up by a couple cars. We got a yellow flag there. Last car on the lead lap was Tyler Vache. Green flag is in the air. Oh, we got one stacked up here on the front straightaway. Big time Brody Center. Kenny Gill. Tyler Vache gets a piece of that as well. We'll see who. Closes it out here with 11 laps to go. Green flag in the air. Once again, we're underway. And it will be Seth Dixon out front off a turn or two as Madrid and Nelson side by side. Madrid up top, Nelson to the inside. Madrid going to drive it in deep into turn number three. See if he can't get around both Nelson and Dixon. So they come off a turn number four. Madrid, he has a quarter panel on him, and so does Nelson in the inside. They go three wide for the top spot. Madrid up top, Dixon in the middle, Jacob Nelson down low. Still three wide for your race lead off a two. Still three wide. Give the advantage into turn number three to Zach Madrid as the fans come to life up on their feet. Make us a noise for the hometown hero, Zach Madrid. He'll lead that lap. 
Zach Madrid will lead that lap as Seth Dixon's hood comes up on his car in the 21D up on the right side. He's still battling Jacob Nelson for second. He'll get right back around the 10J of Jacob Nelson off of turn number two as Jeff Carpenter goes around in turn number two. He'll get it refired. We stay green. New race leader, though, it's Zach Madrid with Seth Dixon having all sorts of vision issues in that 21D. He's going to get passed up by the 10J of Jacob Nelson. For second, but still running some pretty competitive lap times. This is that 21 DS Seth Dixon the last time by a 20.252 to a 20.362 ran by Jacob Nelson, his teammate there, who just took over that second spot. But it's all Zach Madrid out front. That last lap, 19.817 to a 20.029 by Jacob Nelson, 20.719. That lap laid down by Seth Dixon. So Seth Dixon still a fast car on the racetrack, but here comes DJ Workmeister as one car goes around in turn number two. It's the number 19 of Doyle. On the hood piece, but green flag will fly. Seven laps to go. And they race off a turn number two. Zach Madrid will be at the top spot as Seth Dixon's having issues right now. Jacob Nelson. Got around him for that second spot. Larry Berner might have made some contact with the 21D of Dixon. As everybody drives away, now it's DJ Workmeister, Dennis Losing behind. Larry Brigner right now battling for that fifth position. Now Brigner, or Brigner going to try to hold off Workmeister. Also trying to work around the 21D of Dixon. That's a battle for third. Top two drivers, they've broken out single file as it's Dixon, Brigner, and Workmeister running third, fourth, and fifth on the racetrack. Here comes DJ Workmeister, the outside of Larry Brigner. Larry Brigner, though, going to sneak right across the his hood of his car, up across the nose. Might have made some contact there with the 08 of DJ Workmeister as Zach Madrid, the man out front, that last lap, a 19.982 to a 20.037 by second place running Jacob Nelson. So Zach Madrid running faster laps right now than your second place runner, Jacob Nelson. But that lap looks like Nelson got a little bit quicker as they come to the stripe. Jacob Nelson did get a little bit quicker there. I believe the transponder went off on Zach Madrid's car. So it's still Zach Madrid out front. Over the 10, J of Jacob Nelson with three laps to go. Seth Dixon still running in third. Fourth is Larry Brigner, fifth. DJ Workmeister, Dennis Lewis, he's in sixth, followed by Carpenter in seventh. Doyle is, well, Raymond Doyle is eighth as DJ Workmeister has issues under turn number one. His car comes to a stop just underneath the turn two wall down there. Now will bring out a Beaver Stripes yellow flag Wait in the infield as we have lights out going back to green flag racing. Single file restart. Madrid, Nelson, and Dixon, your top three. Brigner and Losing, fourth and fifth. So headed to her number one. Zach Madrid going to try to drive away from the 10J of Jacob Nelson. And Seth Dixon trying to hold on to a podium run here over Larry Brigner in the 0 2. Right now, everybody running single file. Larry Brigner trying to look to the inside of Seth Dixon. He pulls up right to that left rear quarter as Jeff Carpenter spins around right ahead of Raymond Doyle. He goes around, but it looks like he'll get the car refired. So we stay green here at Arizona Speedway. It's Zach Madrid, the man out front, looking for the white flag this time off a of turn number four for your race leader, Zach Madrid. What a drive it has been for Zach Madrid, not only in this main event, but as well as his heat race earlier on. How about the drive in this main event? Once he got past Nelson and Dixon, he did not look back. He has cleared them by 10 car lengths off of four. Checker flag will fly. Zach Madrid wins tonight's IMCA stock car main event. See so rip over here. Zach Madrid coming out of the car race fans. Your main event winner here tonight. And the stock cars at Arizona Speedway. Well, Zach, heck of a run there, man. Great battle between yourself, Jacob Nelson, and Seth Dixon. Looked like a lot of fun out there. Yeah, it was really fun. That restart on the outside, uh, when the yellow came out, I was like, man, we might actually have something in the top, or well, in the middle of one and two. And uh, it finally worked. Uh, it got a little dicey there for a couple laps. It was super fun. Um, I think it got a little hot at the end, but wow, this thing's a rocket. I got to thank Rip, Katie, Mike, uh, Jay, all them guys, man. They, they bust their butt on this thing. And it's fast week in, week out, and we don't touch a thing on it. Yeah, I haven't touched a thing on it indeed, man. One of the things I noticed up there watching you battle it out on the racetrack, these fans out here, man, they appreciate what you're doing. They're up on their feet cheering you on. Yeah, I got to thank everybody that comes out here, you know. 
you guys keep the racetracks open. So. All right, give it up for Zach Madrid. Well, he looks like I got two, two fans that don't like you. <laughs> oh, but he's just a flagger, so he doesn't matter. Zach Madrid, your main event winner, doing double duty here tonight. He'll try to win again here later on the IMCA Modified.